Yo guys, this is your boy OTG Muhu, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your channel. So I feel as though customizing your channel is an important aspect in order to make your channel grow because one, it makes your channel look more artistic and two, it makes your channel look more professional. So now let's get to how to customize your channel. So the first thing that I feel important is to, in order to customize your channel is adding a channel trailer and adding these sort of horizontal columns. So I previously made a video on this before. So it should be appearing on the screen right now. Alright, so if it didn't appear on the screen, then I'm terrible at editing. But if it didn't appear on the screen, then yay, I can edit. So in this video, I teach you guys how to add the channel trailer and how to add these columns. If you guys already know how to do this or you guys just don't want to watch it, then you can just uh, keep watching this video. But if you do guys want to learn, then make sure to click that link. And for mobile users, I'll make sure to put that in the description. So now let's get to the next tip. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to add the banner and how to add the profile picture. So to add the banner, what you do is you click right here and then you go to edit channel art. And then once you go here, well, let's let it load first. What you can do is you can upload your own photo. So select a photo from your computer. You can go to photos that you previously had and then you can go to Google stock photos. So I'm going to show you guys using Google stock photos. So what you do is you just click on any picture that you like and this one looks pretty cool. So I'll click on that. It's going to show you how it's going to look. You can go to adjust the crop, you know, if you like something. And if you do like something, go to device preview and then it'll show you how it'll look on mobile, desktop, and then TV. And if you want to click select, but since I don't want to change it, I'm going to click cancel. So let's let go back. This X button does not work. Do I want to go back or not? Nah, nah, ah, 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 oh, it's going back. It's slowly loading. Hey, there we go. It went back. All right. So anyways, um, next what I'm going to show you guys is how to add your profile picture. So to, in order to change this, what you do is click on this. And then it's going to tell you to go to Google Plus and maybe you guys like it, maybe you guys don't. But you guys have to use Google Plus in order to change your profile picture. So what you do is go to edit on Google Plus. And then once you go here, your Google Plus page will load. And then what you can do is this. This will automatically pop up. And then one, you can either pick a photo from your computer you can pick previously selected photos like last time photos of you if you have any and web camera so if you want you can take a screenshot of your face using your web camera but I'm not gonna do that right now so that's how you do it and once you do it all you have to do is click set as profile picture and it'll probably ask you to adjust the crop like as I did and voila your profile picture should look like that and then next what you're gonna do is just go back by clicking X and you should be back here and for both the banner and the profile picture, it may take a while to load up, so just click the refresh button a few times and then it should appear like this. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is to add an about page. So for those who don't know what an about page is, it's basically a description where you can describe a bit about your channel, what you make, a bit about yourself, and it basically just gets you a bit personal with your subscribers and viewers so people know like what's going to happen in your channel. So this way, people, when they come to your channel, they can read your about page and be like, Hey, this guy does commentaries. I like commentaries, so maybe I'll subscribe to this guy. And it's kind of like marketing your channel in a way. Another thing I want to show you guys is adding playlists. So as you can see, I don't have that many playlists like, compared to all the big channels. I only have a few since I have like only six videos. So I have tip videos, tutorials, random stuff, and a life story. The perks of having playlists is that it organizes your channel. And let's say a person wants to see all your tip videos, they can just click on your playlist. And then they can just watch all your tip videos all at once. Just like I could do that. And then they can watch your tutorials or they can watch any of your stuff that you have. So that's pretty much it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to have, see any more content or have any suggestions, make sure to comment down below. Remember to always stay classy and I'll make sure to see you guys in the next video.